So here we go. Owning the ground. We'll put it all together. Make, make a complete practice of it. So I'm going to begin simply by getting my feet as comfortably connected to the floor as possible. Just really doing whatever I need to do to make that connection between the soles of my feet and the floor as comfortable and as full as possible. That alone, just doing that, will start to create physiological shifts and changes in the, in the level of tension through your body and in the postural alignment of your body. Then from there, really just feeling into being aware of all of the parts of the soles of my feet that are in physical contact with the floor. Take your time with this, take as long as you like, really feel into your foot print. Be aware of all of the parts of the soles of each foot that are in contact with the floor. Be aware of the parts of the soles of each foot that are not in contact with the floor. And then I can just feel into where's the symmetry or asymmetry between my two feet. Perhaps you know, a heel of one foot is, is a little heavier than the other. Perhaps a couple of toes of one foot are a little lighter than the other. Perhaps there's no right, no wrong, but just feeling into those differences. Those differences are telling your neurology adjustments in your posture. If your posture is perfectly evenly, equally aligned, boom, then the, the weight would be equal between your two feet. But that's not is showing your body that there's imbalances in your posture. It's not right, not wrong, just letting your body become aware. And then take that awareness, allow that to expand out through your body. Allow yourself to become aware of how your body feels in this moment. Allow yourself to just be aware how your body feels. Letting go of anything to do with how your body could feel, should feel, once felt, want to feel. Just creating space from all of that and just allowing yourself to accept how your body feels in this moment. Take a little mental snapshot of that. And then the invitation is to just start pouring your weight through one leg and then the other. It's as simple as that. Staying within the parameters of comfort. So my body's actually really happy to support my weight on this single leg for quite a long time. When I feel the discomfort start to come in, then I move. So I want to even move before the discomfort. Stay within a range that's comfortable. This is magic, yeah? So many people spend all their time training their bodies in the red zone where we're uncomfortable with this idea that that will facilitate an adaptation. It's true, it will, but there is magic here that also facilitates adaptations, improvements in awareness, coordination. Improving coordination will improve your strength exponentially. Coordination is the key. Oh, awareness doesn't have to hurt, yeah? Ah, oh, already starting to feel the belly soften and relax, shoulders soften and relax. <sighs> feel free to feel the difference if you go beyond where it's comfortable. Yeah? Feel the body kind of screaming at you. Sometimes good to go beyond where it's comfortable so you know where it's comfortable. And then let your body fall down into that point where the weight is evenly, equally distributed between both feet. Compare the feeling in your body now to that little snapshot that you took before and just see what you can be aware of. For me, there's a, a lightness comes into the shoulders, a softness comes into the belly, a solidity and groundedness comes into the legs, a solidness. So I'm boom, aligned, postured, strong, ready to go. I can do, I can work from here, it's cool. I can relax from here, it's cool. Now I'm gonna take that last exercise just to level up and just peel my foot off the floor. So I'm shifting the weight over, 
and then I can peel, heel, toe, big toe, peeling the foot off, shifting the weight, peeling the other foot. If it feels good, I can peel the foot off and pull the leg into me. So don't think about lifting the leg out. Think of pulling the knee into the spine, activating the psoas. That's what, this is where hip flexion happens. Any core exercise that isolates the hip, the psoas out of the exercise is a ridiculous fucking waste of time, in my opinion. Boom. But that's just me. Ah, so. Ah. Now feel how light this can become. Yeah. Oh. Feels good. That's a massage for the kidneys. Feel that stability and the flow. So we're starting to work on our balance. Kind of important. Ah. Nice. We can go from here into the spiral, the pivot. So we're loading up the, the fascia of the hip and unwinding it. You can bounce down here, loading and unloading. Awesome for the connective tissue through the through the glutes. TFL, boom. Ah, the whole hip complex. So really great for the big toe too. So we're starting to invite the big toe to open up and become more mobile. We're understanding rotated torsion, wrapping the body and unwinding it. Boom. <coughs> That's where power generation comes. Winding the body up and letting it go. Much more powerful, much more potential energy, torque, than a linear movement. Cool, we can take that all the way down now into hunter squat, really get into the big toe, feel how that aligns the spine. All the way through. A couple of times. You can do any of these exercises individually on their own or in the series. For as little or as long as you like. It's not about reps. Ooh. I don't do reps. I do feeling. Yeah. If you don't trust your body, I mean, rep, it's cool for some people. I'm not saying it's wrong. I don't do it because I trust feeling. I know when I've worked to my limit. And I know when I've worked within my range. And I know the result that I'm looking for. Freedom. Alignment, coordination, ah, grace, and ease. Ah, yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So we're starting to, yeah, iron the ground from there. It's, Kind of nice. Ah, we can play a little bit with some single leg stuff now. So that perhaps there's some more stability and ease. have to hurt. In fact, I don't want it to. And then put it all together into some freedom. And then really let it go, so that it's just <coughs> movement. Play with that. That's it. Owning the ground. 
How do your legs feel after all of that? <sighs> try your squats, try your deadlifts, do whatever it is you do. Try it.